Hey everyone, just another Tesla guy here. Finally, finally, finally got this update to 13.2.7. Doesn't look like there's much updates or change logs here. Um, the notes seem roughly the same as last time, but got a new update, so just gonna give it a try and see how it performs. So a couple of locations, back to my usual testing of highway and local streets, and we'll see how it goes. Right, so let's get out here first. Make sure we're clear, and we are. All right, just gonna engage for self driving and let it do its thing. Right. Definitely with the um, monitor, like the camera to monitor your, making sure you're paying attention to the road, it's definitely a lot more sensitive, I would say, compared to you applying pressures to the steering wheel. Here's me just looking at the screen, moving it here. And it gave me a warning earlier. It looks like making a U-turn isn't an option for full self driving, it seems like, because from where I started, it could have definitely made a U-turn to get back. I started right around here, could have made a U-turn to stay on the block, but it didn't do so. Right, couple of pedestrians here. I'm gonna disengage here just because there's a huge puddle of water here and I don't want full self driving to just run over it on the side. Disengage to avoid huge puddle of water on the side. So nothing would have been wrong if full self driving did that, but I just didn't want to let full self driving run over the water. So re-engaging here. Right turn. It's very human like because normally when full self driving in the past would take a right turn, it would stay in the rightmost lane or move over to the closest lane to it. But here it just made a turn and stayed in this lane versus in the closer lane. So pretty good. Empty, it's clear. Made it through. Getting on the highway here. Right, you can see the camera, there's a cyber truck to the left of me. Trying to look over to see if they're using full self driving or not, but a little hard to see. Just there's nothing like it out on the streets, and there's a model, um, model Y right uh, that just sorry that just left the screen. Some at least a model three here, a model Y, and the Cybertruck on the highway together. Our truck letting the Model Y behind me merge in. And that was me just stand, staring at the screen and stuff, staring at the road. So I got that warning. Right. Model Y just as I cut over to the next lane. Now comes one of the more bigger tests for full self driving updates. Um, it's been finicky, either it can take the exit all the way on the left side or it may stay in the middle lane and then tr decide to move over at the very last minute making that um, left turn up ahead. So generally people tend to stay on the leftmost lane to make the left turn. So we'll see what uh, full self driving does this time. 
hope it does stay over on the left side instead of merging over at the last minute. Okay. All right, this is good. This is good. It took the leftmost lane, which it should, instead of waiting to the last minute to merge over. And even when it's doing that, it's not doing the wrong thing. It's just not considerate of other cars that have been like waiting here to make the left turn. Oh, and the Cybertruck's still uh, right behind me. Now let's go. Okay, maybe a little cautious of the pedestrian that's walking next to me. All right, let's see it take this left turn. Go a little wide, please. Okay, it did. It it corrected itself. It went a little too close and it went a little bit wide. And it corrected itself. Okay, it moved over here to the middle lane. You can see a cyber truck. Right, not sure why it didn't stay in the leftmost lane. Okay, I am under the hurry profile here as well. So one thing that feels like kind of weird with full driving, like it knows that it can't how fast other cars are going, and if there's not enough room for full self driving to move over with the blinkers, why is it turning on so early? Like the lane selection is great, try to make it more natural, but it doesn't feel natural because of these blinkers turning on when they shouldn't be turning on, or um, it knows it cars in front of it, it cannot go fast enough to actually move over to the middle lane and it still decides to turn on the blinkers. We can turn on red here, so let's see if full self driving will take it. It's proceeding a little bit. A couple of cars are coming over. Right. Okay. Good job there. Moves over here. remove this location here or reroute yeah the location which is right here so I wasn't gonna have it make a right turn and then loop back so I just decided to remove it before it made the turn Left turn. Two cars on the left side. Clear. Great job. Doing well on left turns. Major improvements compared to much older versions where it will try to crash into the sidewalk or something like that or go a little too close to the curb. Moves over here. that it moves 
moved over earlier because the lane up ahead was going to be a left turn lane only so good job for full style driving on recognizing that Going slow, seeing pedestrian on the streets. Good job. And I was going a little too slow here. Oh, that's right. I forgot I was at my location already. Let me just. Sorry about that. I forgot to remove. I was too into the drive that I forgot to remove the location. Um, so just re entered the location. I removed the other one and. Let's go to my final location. At first I was wondering why I was going a little bit too, so slow and then I just realized that it was such a comfortable ride that I forgot to remove the location. I thought it would have at least kind of tried to pull in and like parallel park into that spot because there was an open spot right there but it just stopped right there and parked um, so it took me a few seconds to reactivate full cell driving and remove the location there but I guess that's a good thing because it was just a smooth and comfortable ride I just completely ignored the map and just focused on watching uh, the road It hesitated a little bit before making the left turn which is great because the truck was blocking my view and a car could have been coming from the left side and going straight so if I had tried to proceed and make the left turn um, right after the, right after that truck made its turn I could have crashed into a car if there was a car coming here so it was good that full cell driving waited to make sure it really was cleared before it proceeded so really really good job on that See where will full cell driving take me here. Let's see where try to find a parking spot. Probably not. See my is gonna stop right here. Right. right, I'm gonna take over here and just find a parking spot myself, but gotta say, good drive for full cell driving. Um one of the usual mistakes that it always make was on the highway. When it got off the highway, it generally would just stay in the middle lane and then try and merge over at the last minute. So good that full self driving stayed on the left hand side and made the turn. Um, two disengagement, one avoiding water. It doesn't have to do so. I just don't want it to run over the water. And the second one was because the ride was just so comfortable. I wasn't paying attention that I reached the location already. So when it stopped and went slow, I just wasn't sure why I did that. But disengage and um, otherwise, yeah. Let me know what you think of this drive down in the comments below. Um, I believe it's going to snow later this week. So maybe I can do some more testing in the snow. Since the weather here was a pretty calm. So it's pretty easy for full cell driving. But anyway, let me know your thoughts.